love darkness, you hate the light, and you won't come to the light. So we bring the light to you. The kingdom of God is in your face. Kingdom of God is here. And Jesus Christ says, repent. Repent and return to the king of the universe, Jesus Christ. If you do not repent, you will perish. If you do not repent from your wicked imagination, you will perish. You will perish in hell. You scream, you shout, you cheer, because your conscience cries out, guilty, guilty, guilty. Your conscience bears witness against you, bears witness of your sin. So you come out and you have a parade. Oh yes, you march down the street flaunting, flaunting your crime, your rebellion. You're flaunting that which God has revealed in his word, what he thinks. Oh, the Bible speaks. The Bible, the word of God. The word of God speaks about this, speaks about what sodomy, but sex is. The Bible reveals, God reveals. But you have been blinded by the God of this world, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, demons. You sacrifice the demons. You give your life over to that which will destroy you. Sin will destroy you. Your sexual perversion will destroy you. You're never going to be satisfied. You will never have joy. You will never have peace. You will never have hope. You will never have that which you need. The presence of God. You need the presence of Christ. And all you have is the presence of HIV, AIDS. You're in the presence of all kinds of venereal diseases. You're in the presence of sin. Lucifer, demons, You're and you have, this, honey. oh man, I'm That's still trying, Jesus stop. Christ is still You're trying to rescue it. you from the punishment like of your sin. Dying. Look oh, at God's yeah. mercy, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at God's mercy that he does not destroy San Francisco. This gay pride parade, Jesus Christ would be righteous and just to judge this wicked parade and you do not understand the seriousness of the way you look. You don't understand how perverted you have become. And you have twisted that which was supposed to be good. And now this is what you call good. And God says it is wicked. Boo, boo, shame, shame. You need each other to cheer. You need each other to praise you because your conscience says shame. It's wrong, guilty. That's why you have a parade because your conscience bothers you so bad. Your conscience cries out against your rebellion. The spirit of holiness, the Holy Spirit reveals to you that what you're doing is wicked. That's religion around you. You have the Catholic Church is gonna support sodomy, butt sex. Oh, Pope Benedict, I support you. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Pope Benedict, he's gonna be in hell too with you, unless he repents. Oh, your religion will send you to hell. And you need to repent now, today. You need to examine yourself and see that you have broken God's law, you have broken God's commandments, and you stand guilty before a just judge. I'm telling you, God is a just judge. Oh, God is a just judge. The eyes of the Lord behold the evil and the good. God sees, God knows, and on the day of judgment, everything will be revealed. Everything will be known, everything will be seen. Will not the judge of the whole earth do right? Oh, Jesus Christ will do right. He will do right. They gotta try something stronger and move it up a little bit more, a little bit more. Those that love lies, a little bit more, a little bit more. It's okay. Hey, do whatever you want. Hey, you can do whatever you want to me. It doesn't make any difference at all. Understand this. The judgment is still coming.
It will I still got come for you. Rod of iron. I got yes, the rod of iron. You remembered. Good man. Right here, you you remembered. Excellent. So hard oh, me. yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. That's good. Hey, this man at least remembers something that we told him. We said that God was going to come back with ten thousands of his saints to execute the judgment written upon all the wicked. It's going to be and he's going to bust them up with a rod of iron. Hey, man, I think you're going to repent. Oh, you're not. You know why? Because God is going to give us both a new body, only mine will be much more stronger than yours. See, I just got to go, bam! He's gone! Just like a saucer, just like a cup that you throw on the ground. <laughs> gone. All that's left is powder and little chunks of crud. And then we're going to go like this. He's going, is this the man? A new special is this the man that put not his trust in the Lord Jesus Christ? Is this the man? And then you all will laugh at him. But you know what? And then it'll be your turn. It'll be your turn. And then it'll be your turn to get judged. Everybody gets a chance. Jesus Christ said, as surely as I live. Oh, God. God has revealed what he thinks about sin on the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross. Jesus Christ took the punishment on the cross of the wrath of God. God has revealed what he thinks about this day. Will you surrender? How are you going to escape if you neglect so great a salvation? Salvation from what? What are you saved from? From the wrath of God, the anger of God, from hell fire, from the punishment of sin. You're going to live forever, and your conscience bears witness against you. Oh, you're going to get a new body. You're going to get a new body, and you're going to burn in hell. Oh, then you're going to like it, huh? Party in hell, huh? Oh, lack of sodomy in hell. It's sad. It's sad. You're miserable. You're miserable. And you want people to praise you. Oh, no. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. What does God, what does God think about sodomy? That's the question. What does God think about sodomy? What does God think about anal sex? No, he hates it. He hates it. What does God think? Or is he going to be well pleased with what you do? When he says to the Christian, separate yourself from the workers of iniquity. Do not join together. He says, warn your neighbor. Hey, I say, I'll warn my neighbor. Neighbor, you're in danger. You're on your way to hell. All those that love sin, practice sin. Lying, covetousness, greed, adultery, fornication, all those things that do not glorify God are sin. That is love. Hey, wake up. Read the Bible. God tells you what love is. He tells you in plain language. God is love. And this is love, that you follow my commands. Hey, how can it be any more straightforward than that? What are his commands? Does anybody know? Anybody out here have any discernment? Anybody knows God's commands? Don't be a homo. This man. That's right. He said, don't be a homo. That's one of them. Don't lie. The don't sit here. There's not the presence of the Lord here. Demons are here. Lucifer, the devil, come to steal, kill, and destroy you. But Jesus Christ came to give life and life more abundantly. What is abundant life? Oh, abundant life is the presence of God. When you're in the presence of God, that's abundant life because he holds all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Oh, his paths, oh, they drip with abundance. In his path, there is pleasure. Do you know him? Do you know him? Are you born again? Huh? Have you confessed your sin? Do you go and sin no more? Do you show God your love by resisting that which is evil, the temptation, all the imaginations? You tear those things down, those things that come into our mind that are kinky and weird, and we say, no, that doesn't glorify God, so we tear it down in our mind. Oh, we're attacked daily. I'm a Christian. Lucifer is after me. The devil wants to destroy me. He's already got you, sodomites. Oh, but I thank God. I think Jesus Christ is the victory. Oh, the victory is in Christ. He is, he is more than a conqueror. 
He has done it, and I praise him and thank him for keeping me, setting me apart. Oh, shining his face upon me, that the face of the Lord is upon me. His favor is upon me. His presence is upon me, and I want it upon you.